I'm here with James Gibbons of uh, the Airvo product manager for Fisher & Paykel. And uh, we're going to talk real quick about uh, nasal high flow therapy and why this is important. Uh, when did this uh, kind of hit your uh, radar and, and, uh, and, and what's the importance of it? So yeah, uh, humidified high flow is a relatively new therapy, especially in the home care market. Uh, really what humidified high flow provides is it provides patients that suffer with uh, respiratory conditions that could benefit from extra respiratory support and humidification to provide optimal humidity and, and really that bronchial hygiene to recondition those lungs. Um, and it can be used with or without supplemental oxygen. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, the Airvo product itself, uh, how did that get developed? Yeah, so the Airvo uh, was, was developed really to, to fill a need in the marketplace uh, for those patients that suffer from those respiratory conditions that I previously mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, in doing so, essentially this therapy fills that void of providing that high flow therapy from anywhere from two to 60 liters per, vid, uh, per minute to provide um, that flow while also providing that um, humidification to really humidify the lungs and provide that uh, optimal humidification. And this sort of therapy, this is kind of new for the home setting, right? Like there's, this has sort of existed in maybe the hospital space, but not necessarily in the home space. Is that correct? Correct, correct. Yeah, so it's been utilized to a certain degree. Um, and really, even in the hospital space, it's only scratching the surface. But to the home care market, it's, it's very, very new and innovative therapy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that is, uh, it's not only providing that respiratory support and that humidification, but it's a more comfortable therapy for patients because it's an open system. Patients can eat and drink and interact with, with family members. It's obviously very small. It's a transient yeah. unit that can sit on the bedside. Um, so having that opportunity in, in the home is a, is a huge benefit to both the caregivers as well as the patients. Gotcha. And uh, tell me a bit about uh, some of the uh, ways that, you know, or some of the key features of the uh, Airvo uh, product. What are uh, the things that uh, kind of really uh, uh, increase its efficacy. Yeah, yeah, so what really sets apart uh, the Airvo device is it combines a, a couple of the things that I mentioned, but you've got optimal humidification, so it can deliver humidity at 31, 34, or an ideally 37 degrees to, to really humidify those lungs and provide that bronchial hygiene as I referenced previously, while also in tandem providing that respiratory support and, and providing that high flow um, to give that dynamic positive airway pressure and open up those lungs, promoting slow, deep breathing and slowing that respiratory rate while meeting peak inspiratory demand. And it's all doing so while being able to be used with or without supplemental oxygen. Uh -huh. So that's kind of what the, the device is in a nutshell. And how does it work with supplemental oxygen? Yeah, so in the home setting, you would use it with a, uh, a concentrator. Um, so it's, it's limited on the, the amount of what the concentrator can do. So either a five liter concentrator, or if you need something a little bit higher, you can do that with a couple concentrators. But it just hooks up on this little tree on the side right here. So that's kind of how it works. Okay, all right. So, uh, so the humidity that this device provides, how does that actually help the patient? Sure, yeah, so when you're providing optimal humidification to the mucociliary transport system, a lot of the patients that we're talking about that suffer from these respiratory conditions have inadequate humidity. And when you're able to provide that for them with the Airvo device, what it's doing is it's actually liquefying that mucociliary transport system to where the airway isn't desiccating or drying out. And it's making sure that that debris is a free flowing, free flowing system to where it's either coughed out and expelled that way or swallowed and digested in the stomach. Uh -huh. In the event that that isn't allowed to happen, when it dries up, these patients can suffer from a, a couple different things, those being infections, secretion clearance issues, which is a big issue with this patient population, or just general discomfort. So when you have that optimal humidification, it's going to mitigate, mitigate that risk and provide better uh, secretion clearance. Okay. All right. Well, All thanks right. a lot. Thanks a lot.